So SAD's uh, history in feeding and connecting Asia is providing delicious food in the aviation and non-aviation sector across Asia and providing solutions that enable us really to be the best ground handler really that we can be in uh, Asia Pacific. So we started our journey of tra transformation through an innovation culture back in 17. And with their objective to feed and connect Asia, we needed to find uh, ways to create efficiencies in the very constrained environment of the airport, and also being able really to find technologies that help us really capture our knowledge, or know-how and experience uh, in a digital way so that we could really build up consistency across really the different production uh, areas that we operate. In, at that moment, in this discussion with our business operations, how we came really with uh, contact with uh, Daso Systems and uh, started to really uh, understand the capabilities that Digital Twin would offer for our specific environment in airline catering. So using the 3D platform enables us really to optimize uh, the fixed resources that we have in a very constrained space, eliminate waste and uh, by doing so target uh, and be more focused on our sustainability uh, targets. But also it's helped us really move a number of uh, analog jobs, uh, jobs that were done with a very manual uh, and really old fashioned processes into a digital platform. When we're looking at sustainability as a company, we take it's a very important chapter for our strategy and definitely there's different elements in, in sustainability. It's like optimum use of resources, avoiding waste is very important, particularly in food production. Not only because of course it drives costs, but also because we are using unnecessarily really materials and goods that we should be responsible for. Second, we're really very, very focused on, on helping redesign jobs for the future and giving our labor force the capabilities through technology that enables them really to have a sustainable job for the future. And of course, finally, we're looking into how all of those efficiencies really result in bottom, bottom line savings for a company by having more efficient processes and having more efficient ways of working.